Previously on the Dutch Cast. Oh, damn! This is nice! <laughs> <laughs> no more mistakes? Oh, I already know this will be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> God, he don't listen to you, bro. He does, bro. He don't he does. listen to you. He's lying. You know, I have thoughts about one of the boys. Oh, like, fuck. <laughs> bro, your business failed. All right, go get a job at Target. You'll be better off than being homeless. <laughs> Are we ever going to stop? <laughs> Are we ever going to break Listen, out? I like being delusional. <laughs> I like being delusional. Oh, what? How? <laughs> I fucking... I don't get how you can say... Because it's you saying this. The bitch is at fault. Why the fuck are you gonna stand in front of a truck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? She's fucking being taught lesson by her mom on her L's and the mom just goes out and fucking lets a truck run over her. <laughs> like the fuck. What a dumb bitch, man. <laughs> Can you believe in front of your kid? Yeah, yeah, you see, that's fucking you want to act like a hero? Fuck, open the door and bash him. Yeah. What the fuck are you going to do? A truck she just let this front. truck drive over. Fucking her. puts her hands on it like she's going to stop the truck. <laughs> Dumb bitch, there's a fucking truck. Oh, Bruh. my God. Oh, that fucking, ah. Oh, that, like, annoyed me so much seeing yeah, that, yeah. that that happened. Like, I can't believe a bitch thinks you can stand in front of the truck like, and it's just and you're just gonna let it run over you. Like, what's the outcome? What are you hoping for? What are you hoping for? Being in front of it. <laughs> yeah. Get his intention. Fuck. All right. He decided to run, keep driving. It reminds. Why, try push it as well. Why didn't you fucking move? It stuck. Bro, <laughs> trucks are slow. Trucks are fucking slow. She died. She wasted her life. Yeah. To be uh, a hero. Look, for everyone listening, click on the link down in the description oh if you haven't God, seen it bro. yet, and I'll put a link in there. I'll put the news coverage of it and I'll put the original video as well. But it reminds me of that other video that it pissed me off just as much because of the, it, just the idiocracy. Is the idiocracy a word? Idiocracy. Idio idiocracy. Idiocracy. Idioc idiocracy. Um, do you remember when there was that video that got sent around, everyone got it on Snapchat of the guy who was confronting those, there was like two groups of boys in a shopping center oh, confronting yeah. each other. Oh yeah, got stabbed in the neck. And then this guy just walks towards this guy with a knife. Look, he just, he's got a knife and he just walks towards him oh, with his fucking dumb hands cunt, down. Bro. Oh, fucking, yeah. And this guy just stabs him in the neck, bro, yeah. and he dies. I'll put a link in the description for that video as well if I can find it. Fucking that dumb cunt. Just pit and that was also, that guy had kids too, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, not everyone should be able to have kids, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should, we, should we have a test or something? You know what I mean? <laughs> these people are raising children, these idiots, yeah. bro. Oh. Uh, yeah, that one fucking pissed me off too. Because who walks towards the knife like fucking hands down? Let's just at say least who fucking hands towards, up. Let's just say, all right, let's just start with at least who walks towards a knife. All right. That's all right. already <sighs> crazy. Circumstantial. So you might have to. Yeah, but that guy had no reason to. The other people yeah, were backing up. Because he wanted to be tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted and to he keep obviously, walking he them down. He obviously didn't know what he was doing. Yeah. He had no defense mechanism in place. Look, there is certain people that can walk towards a knife. Yeah, I know, I know. We know certain people yeah, yeah. that that outcome would have been different, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would have been a way different video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. John Wick's song. Yeah, bro. like if you ain't that, <laughs> what the fuck were yeah. you doing walking towards a knife? Even he tells us, run I was, away. I was just about to say Even that. he says, run away. Yeah, yeah. I was just and about to say And he that. has the ability to <laughs> fucking ruin it. Anyone. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I think, bro, but speaking of that news video of that truck, that is fucking insane for the truck driver to just drive over her. That guy is fucking... Fucking ins and we're letting that guy drive drunk. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> What's wrong with I know, her? right? Oh my god, that Bruh. woman is having kids, and that guy is because trucks piss me off, bro. There's nothing that pisses me off more. I'm very calm on the road. Like I don't get any road rage. I don't even cut traffic. I'm pretty sweet as long as it takes me to get there. I don't care because I've got my podcast to listen to. Mm. But when I see a truck riding someone's ass or speeding oh, yeah. or up a breakdown lane, nothing fires me up more because that guy is operating. The most dangerous weapon in eyesight. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he should be held so much more responsible for breaking the rules on the road because he's having so much more of a risk. Mm. The risk to reward ratio should always be fucking larger in every circumstance. And that guy who's driving that truck is, is insane enough to slowly drive over a woman yeah. with her daughter there, bro. Yeah. 
Like, fuck. Like, what a dumb bitch. Like, she should have fucking realised. This cunt hit the car, drove off, kept driving. Yeah. He didn't give a fuck. What do you think he was going to do when you were in front of him? <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. What a fucking idiot. Yeah, that's insane. And this truck driver, like, fucking... I can't blame him. He was, he was breaking the rules already, right? He hit a car and kept going. No, no, you can't say you don't blame him. Okay, I don't blame him for her death. Come on, you have to blame him for her death. No. Nah. He uh, killed her. Listen to this mentality, right? He hit the car and kept going. He didn't give a fuck. What does that tell you about him? He weren't going to give a fuck if you walked in front of it. Oh, no, so you're not saying you don't blame him. You're saying you understand him. You understand. It's her own fault for not. It's her own fault, yeah. But you can't. You're not saying you don't blame him because he's still to blame. You're saying you. you oh, under, I'm you, saying you're saying you understand. He killed him. her. Yeah, you he, understand. He's guilty of that. You're saying you understand. He's a psycho. Yes, already. Yes, from the jump. From but the jump. Like, now the, the additional information Listen, is he's a dumb. For me, bitch. if a truck hits my car, I'm not coming in front of that car. I'm pulling the door <laughs> open. Yeah, and I'm fucking stabbing that cunt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you what the fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the shock isn't the fact that he killed her. The shock is that oh. There's a psychopath. We already agreed that. Oh, now there's a dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen, yeah. he hit the car. He kept going. That's yeah. your fucking that's number the one. story, yeah. That's, number that's one. It. Yeah, yeah. This dumb bitch could have fucking lived another 50 years. <laughs> yeah. Fucking dickhead. Well, that was a good way to start us off. I liked that. Good article. Or what other articles you got? Oh, let's, see if we, let's see if we can find that one. But yeah, that was a fucking good one. You know, thing that I, that one thing I just remembered too? Mm. Through this new fucking podcast thing that I'm going to be setting up, is this um, device that's controlling it all, this called a Rodecaster Pro 2. I can set up one of the microphones. It's actually a Bluetooth hooked up to my phone. So if someone oh, calls, yeah. I can answer it. And whatever sounds coming through the speaker of the phone yeah. is automatically sent to a MacBook. So it's an extra audio recording. Nice. So people who call up in the pods, it's going to be... Well, I want to somehow incorporate that into options for mm. later on. I think that'd be pretty cool. So what going with these screens? If I can link to your computer... Nah, I'm just going to hook them up to separate things. So I might do one with Google and one with Alexa. Mm. And I'll just, I think it'd be easier just to speak to them and maybe just have a remote that I can just quickly do. Or I'll actually, I'll be able to do it to my phone too. And I could just fucking like pair it. Oh, Ooh, we got a camera. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a camera. All right. So the second news article I found is the first one that pops up. The title of it is, A 19-year-old Texas man went overboard from a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. <laughs> An ongoing search has yet to find him, right? I don't know why. What's the I situation? Have laughed, I shouldn't have laughed from the get-go. Because, yes, that is a fucking horrible thing. That's a horrible thing, but if Mance was on a bender, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. All right. So let's just read along and see what comes up with it. So a 19-year-old passenger on a cruise ship went overboard in the, in the Caribbean on Tuesday, and a search for him is ongoing. One relative missing Texas residents, as the family is desperate for answers and have not heard much from the Cuban border guards. All right, so I wonder if it explains how he fell off. It says it's unclear how the 19-year-old student college, 19-year-old college student went overboard on exactly how long he was in the water before the search had begun for him. Fuck. So this motherfucker, they don't even know when he fell overboard, bro. They don't know how, but they don't yeah. even know when. So, <laughs> bro, can you imagine if they? <laughs> bro, this guy's gone, bro. He's gone, bro. <laughs> this guy's gone, bro. The big propeller probably tore him up. Oh my gosh! Have you ever been on a cruise? Yeah. When you look over the edge, I, I thought to myself before going on a cruise for the first time, like, I thought to myself, I'll probably jump off a cruise ship. You know, that'd be fun. Like, maybe mm. when I dock somewhere or, like, I'd jump off the top of the cruise. And you looked and you were like, not too high. <laughs> There's zero percent chance of survival if you fall off a cruise, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That, that shit is so scary. Imagine the fear of being lost at sea, bro. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. My heart goes out to this kid, like, rip. rip. Shut up, rip. Yeah. Cut the, Rip, bar, save, the re save the resources, bro. Bar, if man's was on the bender, <laughs> bro, that's your own fault. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 19 year old college student, what's the like, what's the chance his man's was on it? 80%, 85. <laughs> right, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, I know. Did, was he with his family or with the boys? I don't think it says. Like, it if he was with the boys, we know why. <laughs> we know why he <laughs> fell off. He was on the bender. I wonder if, like, there mustn't be that much security footage on a cruise, all right? If like if they're not able to know even when he fell off, there mustn't be that much CCTV, bro. So how likely uh, if you to push someone off a cruise that you get caught? I think um, pretty likely. You reckon? I think so. I have uh, 
You're going to have to bleep this story. Oh, I got heavy. It's, yeah. No, seriously, you're going to have to cut this section. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> well, I will. Oh, I was like, I was on the cruise. And they were fucking... Mm-hmm. Fucking... You're crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my all right. god They all got locked up Because they threw shit overboard really? From their balcony shit. So how do they know Like fucking Obviously there's they got some kind of system That mm. says shit's fallen off mm. When right. you say they were throwing shit off Was it furniture and shit or was it Yeah they like, trashed their room up well, through they're the bed like, Yeah like, well then they're gonna be like Where's the bed bro <laughs> You know what I mean It looks like a genius to work that out bro. Where's the bed Where's the bed <laughs> Where's the bed? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come, on. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, even think I watched Sherlock Holmes on there. Yeah. Oh, oh, fair, fair point. All right, make sure that's cut because uh, yeah, right. my story to tell. They all got yeah. locked up. I don't know. I can't remember the outcomes. <laughs> yeah. But everyone got locked up, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe they have a security camera then. Oh, man. Imagine the. F- yeah, that, to be honest, that would that unlocked a new fear of mine when I was out yeah, on the cruise. Yeah, being lost at sea, bro. That's yeah. like scary as. That might be the scariest shit ever. Yeah. Because like, fucking how do you survive? You don't. Like, <laughs> yeah, you don't. If I'm lost in the bush, like I'm fucking, I'm pretty confident I can survive that. I might yeah. stay there. <laughs> I'm fucking lost at sea. You're from. Yeah. What the you, fuck do you, you do? Don't, you don't get lost at sea. You die. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's no fucking, you can't. Like, fishing's going to be hard. Have you seen Life of Pi? Yeah. That is such a good movie, bro. Mm. Oh, my God, that movie is so good. That scene when he's fucking, he, the boat is sinking and like, and you, and you just see it like, oh, fuck, that movie's unreal. I love that movie. Mm. I might watch it again tonight. Life yeah. of Pi. Yeah, I might watch it again. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, fuck. If you were to get lost at sea, what do you reckon? How do you reckon you would end up dying? Would you would you drown? Would you get eaten by a shark? Or would you starve? What would happen? I might off myself if I get lost at <laughs> sea. To be honest, bro, <laughs> like, because how the, would you off yourself? Would you just like hold your breath and breathe out as far? I just you jump could? in the water and let it happen. Just like let go. <laughs> just let go. Fucking, I'll just lay there. Something eats me. Something eats me. If I drown, I drown. Yeah. Like, I. For me, I, I, I like to think I'm a survivalist. I can survive in many situations, mm-hmm. whether it be a fight, a fucking, I get lost in the bush. I think I can survive. My house fire. House fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I anything, don't see yeah. a way for me to survive at sea. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't think anyone would. <laughs> Do you reckon there's ever been a chance of anyone ever just falling off a boat and then just surviving it? How long? Did, how would they, they'd be dead? Everyone's dead. Mm. Everyone's dead, bro. Well, Everyone's the stories dead. of people who lost at sea that get found and yeah, but I'm sure they had a raft or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Come on. Exactly. Yeah, no, nah, you're dead. You're dead. All right. Well, fuck. Yeah. New like, fear unlocked. Trust me. Fuck. Imagine like them all them plane drivers in the war. They got shot down into sea. Yeah. Go all on. the all that type of shit. Go on. They're all dead. Boats getting blown up. Oh, what's in the water is fucking, that's it. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, oh, let's see where do you one. think you could survive? Where? Give me a situation. Because, like, give oh, me a situation. So tell me if I could survive. Plane crash, you survive, but you hit the fucking mountains. You're in the snow. Um, And was I with passengers that survived as well? Or am I alone? Uh, you can have passengers. So other people survive. Oh, Some yeah. people died. Yeah, a lot of people died. But this is survivors. Hmm. So survival up until a point of reaching civilization or just survival for a period of time? So say, to, say rescue. You're definitely not getting rescued for three weeks. Yeah, I'm sweet, bro. Three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of me? <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, my God. No, but I'm talking like there's fucking polar bears and shit, right? Like fucking wolves. Polar bears, I'm done. Polar bears, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> polar bears. Oh, I'm yeah. That's what everyone's done. Real polar bears. <laughs> you have the polar bear, bro. bro. Like, Come on. Oh, yeah. Like, I put my chances in the snow lower than if it was somewhere else. Yeah, but what about if it was a desert? Ooh. We're better off in the snow. Yeah. Imagine the animals that would fucking get you to in the desert. Maybe you'd be better off in the snow. In the desert, just from the animals, let alone the fucking hydration. Oh, no, because think about it. You're on a plane. It's got air so You're not going to be rugged up with all the snow gear. Right? Yeah, but, like, people died. You're sure you can just fucking snatch their clothes off them. 
Yeah. Like there's plenty of food that will be on the plane, you know, like people bring their own food and plus there's all the meals. And then when they run out, like there is dead, pe dead people, you can always eat them. I'm sure you could light a fire with some of the stuff, like the fuel that was in the plane. Even if you're just using hydraulic oil and shit to get the fire started. There'd be plenty of ways to like survive if you were in a plane crash. Yeah. Their race is pretty good. Six months, it's a different story. Six months, it all depends on your environment. I don't think that anyone would have a better off chance if the environment was shit enough. I think it all depends what you've got around you. Once the food runs out and shit, I'd be sweet. I'd be able to fucking stay warm. I reckon I'd stay entertained. Might meet a miss. Might make it a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are the options, love? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, pick and choose. <laughs> I'm being like, yeah, come on, come on. You tell the gal, <laughs> yeah. look, you and me or this cunt with like fucking buck teeth and shit. Yeah, and then know? it's like, and then it's me versus him at that stage. So yeah. I reckon I'll be all right. Yeah, I reckon I'll be all right. Do you reckon you could survive, say a flood came through? Yeah. Um, and you were on an island, like on, you're on a beachfront somewhere, say like Queensland, like a surfers. Say a fucking flood was coming through, yeah. tsunami. Um, Tsunami, fuck, I ain't surviving. You don't? What the fuck? You seen how powerful that shit is? I've seen it. I've seen it. I know. I always, it's one thing that's like my ego is pretty high when it comes to surviving a tsunami. <laughs> I'm pretty delusional in that. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon a tsunami came like. There's a point, I reckon, where you can survive from. Beachfront, no. You're 100% Impact, chance of dead? Impact's going to kill you, beachfront. I think maybe towards the city. So, for example, Bondi's get hits with a tsunami. If you're beachfront, you're gone. Or if you're fucking back towards the city a bit and the water's coming at you slower, maybe you can jump. Mm. It's still going to come hard. Like if it hits you, you're fucked. It might mm. break a leg. But if you Does it come that hard? Does it come that hard that it like fucking smashes people? Well, think about the volume. That's what's making it hard. Mm. The volume of the water you. Like I guess the feeling of being in a beach and think, smashing Think about when, when the fucking swells high at the beach and it's fucking hitting you and you're getting smashed. And it, oh, That's pummeling yeah, you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine the volume of the tsunami. <laughs> yeah, true. Maybe you could ride the wave. Like, you know where you body surf? Yeah. But <laughs> you know what, I mean? what, what if you, if if you, you ride it, surf? but you're riding it straight into a building? <laughs> you have to just like aim, you know, like, so aim, like steer down the you're street. You're going to turn. But it's still pushing you forward anyway because <laughs> it's that yeah. strong. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. I reckon there's a chance. At least there's, there's at least there's, <laughs> a, there's at least a chance somewhere. It's not a very high chance. There's a nine nine point nine. I think the deal. further away from impact from beach, the, your chances are better. But don't people say that if a tsunami is coming, you run out towards it? No, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure people say that. I'm gonna no, look that you up. You get to high ground. I'm going to look that up right now. Run towards it. <laughs> what are you going to do when you run towards it? Do people say run towards a... You're thinking of a tornado. <laughs> I'm not thinking of a... I'm definitely not thinking of a tornado. <coughs> <laughs> I've seen a tornado. Or a know, hurricane or something. Oh my God, as if I'm running towards a hurricane. Okay, <sighs> so my question... <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Do you, all right, do you run towards a tsunami? This is literally the answer that pops up on Google. Yeah. Run. Run as fast as you can away from the shoreline. <laughs> 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 all right, well, shit. No, right, maybe not. All right, do you reckon you could survive a invasion? Oh, 100%. From other country. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm fucking all sweet. Not just survive, you'll strive. Bro, mate. I'll strive. They're going to invade and they're going to talk peace terms to me. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to come see me. Can you stop killing our guys, please? <laughs> like, fucking, well, yeah, sweet. All right, so what's the first thing you do? So say, like, emergency broadcast right now, Um, all of the TVs, all of your phones, everything, it's like... Say, for example, China has just invaded Australia. They're, they've started on the borders of, say, the West Coast. Is that like where Bondi and shit is? Yeah. West Coast. And they're starting to fucking flood their way in through that way. Why wouldn't they come from north? The north's closer to... No, oh, like no. They, they came to north first, right? And then they fucking start, started to set up base and shit there. And then once they fucking took over, they oh, fucking they came back down. around and oh. shit. Yeah. So say they made their way in from the West. Mm -hmm. What would be your first... Plan of attack. What would you do? So how much time do I know they invaded the north already? 
Nah, because they were sneaky as fuck about it. You know what mm. I mean? Like they were like planning like, oh, some expedition, sightseeing tours, whatever, who knows? Yeah. Everyone's not dressed up in their full army gear. They're just taking out the fucking ships for a test run. Who knows? They've done something to convince us. Yeah. So say what's the rollout from west to here for military force would probably be four hours, five hours till they get here. All right, so um, for legal reasons, I'm not going to give you my complete breakdown. Okay, okay. So metaphorically, yeah. So my first thing, I'm going to steal a full drive. Mm-hmm. All right, so I can drive anywhere. Yeah, good point. My second thing, I'm going to stock up on diesel. Mm. Okay. Great point. My third thing, I'm getting weapons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's certain houses I know that have weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> 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 so I've already yeah. got this planned out. I've got this route, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro it's yeah, so yeah, extensive yeah. that I've yeah. <laughs> already got this. Like, oh, my bro. God. All right. Yeah. Three great points in a row, too. Yeah. Food, I'm all eats. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all these servers to rob on the way mm. to fucking mm. t- for those first three points. Yeah, I got food at home. It can last me a bit, uh, and then I will take anyone who wants to come with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the conditions are: he fucking do what as I say. <laughs> if you want to live, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've got this planned out, right? Yeah. Then I'm driving inland. Okay, but you got to have a maximum amount of people that you take, or is it not? As, as well, many I can as have a can. fleet of cars. It's just going to change what I do. Yeah, yeah. But would you want to have like a maximum amount of people? And do you really want to have anyone, or are you picking and choosing at the gates? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to be so honest, you don't make the cut, bro. To, like, you know, to be honest, yeah. People aren't making the yeah. cut. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's safer. That really is safer. Bro, I'm, yeah, I'm telling you, certain people. You gotta have a. You gotta have an army. You ain't gonna make a cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah if yeah, you can't yeah. fucking, if you're not benefiting me being there, you yeah. ain't making a cut. Yeah. Is there a preferred amount of people that would be better, like a group of five compared I think to a group of ten 50? max? Ten max. Ten okay. max. Yeah, yeah. That's a good number. Um, but once it's, this is the escape plan though. Yeah, yeah. So the escape plan, ten max. Mm-hmm. Is that two cars? Yeah. Or would you rather have more cars? No, nah, not around? for an escape plan. Okay, okay. Because yeah, if save I ain't on, waiting for on, the other cars. Save on fuel. Too. I ain't waiting for the other cars. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Resources, yeah. So my whole goal is the escape first. Yeah. Once I'm established, I'll, I can have fucking a camp of 100 people on camp. And would you escape inland? Like, inland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's going to take them a while to come inland. Yeah. There's certain... I know one property I would like to be on. Yeah, okay. Because it's, it's a hill, like, so you can see everything down. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> is it crazy? <laughs> I already know the property I'm going to. <laughs> is that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, so, yeah, it's on top of the hill and you can see down everyone's coming. Um, the only bad thing is for the pl- the planes flying over can drop strikes on you on it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I haven't gone far enough inland to scope a better spot. Yeah. But as far as the escape, that's a good starting spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Any land any land invasion that comes that far, fuck it eats while I'll set up traps and all that. Mm. It's the planes I've got to worry about, so I've got to make it look like I'm not there. Mm. Um, a long-term goal thing for it is I'll establish something way further inland and mm. the more they come out, the more fuck they're going to come. Mm. They're going to get yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, going because I already you. got the plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't put no thought into that. <laughs> I haven't put no thought into that. I'll send you the pin drop for <laughs> where to meet. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, bro, steal a car, get I've got a company car, bro. It's my car now. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I, I already had pretty high expectations that you'd survive in that situation. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that's taken me out at that point is the fucking airstrikes, bro. I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, fuck, how do we avoid airstrikes? Would you ha- you'd have to go bush. You'd yeah, have to go bush. well, eventually, I think we'd have to get a good spot in the mountains. Um, lots of cover from planes. The only bad thing is you're going to have smoke and shit. And we're not too far mm. in the mountains from the sea, so they can get there. Yeah. But if you get a good spot with good cover near a water source, um, 
I reckon I could um, mm. guerrilla warfare that bitch. Mm. Yeah, you yeah, wouldn't yeah. even need to set up like a fucking compound or anything. And let's be real, like, that'd be a pretty good life. Yeah. Hey, that would be a good life. Because like, if they're coming here, they're probably coming for the resources, yeah? Yeah. So they're coming just to kill all the heads, kill all the males. Mm. And I don't really think they're going to be bordering and patrolling to the high extent of like, search, continue to search for 10 years for the entire country, you know what mm. I mean? Just yeah. look underneath every rock. So we just have to have a normal life after we survive a long enough period. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. But do you, th- all right, do so you, wanna, do you wanna beat the invasion? Or do you want to just live? Uh, how extensive do you want this to get? Because then our plans have to change. You, yeah. We're going to have to invade a base. Yeah. And we have to start getting the military equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Not yeah. just fucking... Problem is it's all in Chinese too. <laughs> 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 we don't even know what it is, bro. Yeah. Imagine we get to the fucking warehouse and it's just like just symbols, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck. 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 Yeah, like, we kidnap a Chinese kid on the way. <laughs> yeah, fuck, here we go. But yeah, imagine that. We do a big heist, bro. We kidnap a couple cargo containers. We get them in our utes. We fuck off. We open it up again. It's like XLR cables or some shit. <laughs> 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 oh, damn it. Fuck. We'd have to learn Chinese. I reckon maybe maybe a good plan of attack would be first thing we do is say we know they're coming. Um, <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. My first thought process was go to Officeworks yeah. and print out like Chinese, English to Chinese translation. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your butt the time now. I'm dead. I'm already dead. Bro. I'm already dead. Fuck it. Should have went with you. I died, I died in office works by the print, by the print, by self printing section. <laughs> oh well, fuck. I always think if there's a zombie apocalypse, I'd be pretty sweet. Oh, bro, I'm eats. So, I'm yeah, eats on that one. I'd be pretty sweet. I'm eats, bro. You hit Bunnings. You hit fucking everyone. Would probably hit Woolies and shit first. So you'd probably just have to raid servos. Would be your best bet. Mm. You know, servos would be pretty pretty high popularized, but I reckon everyone would be heading to servos. Um, so maybe Bunnings first. Boy, get the boys together first. Mm. Gotta get the boys together. Like, don't get me wrong. It's gonna be a big group, but because you got all the boys' families, but the boys all bring their own families. Hey, don't. I'm telling you, in that situation, I'm killing people who aren't useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hell, like, yeah. I ain't getting held behind. All right, well, say there is a zombie apocalypse, right? It'd be a lot easier to map this out than if there was an invasion. Mm. Um, and we had to get all the people we know together that we trust. Like, say the Mandam, our squad, mm. and the boy, and everyone's families, all right? You've got to have the families too. Because um, I think with, with responsibility of having to look after people, it will make the survivalist instinct be a bit more better. Yeah. So it'll be good to have everyone responsible for people as well as themselves. So... Through this whole process, we're going to have a big group. Slowly, we're going to start to meet more survivors. All mm-hmm. right. Do you ever allow a democracy or do you keep Hell a dictatorship no. or do you keep a communism bro. between the boys? It's a dictatorship. One leader. One leader. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, Mark, bro. One leader. But the, the thing is. Because one leader, then uh, you have people who want to overthrow power. Yeah, but this is the strongest survive. No Communism I mean. would take over dictatorship. It'd what have what to. do you mean? Like, say, say a group of people want to take over together, they'd take over that dictatorship. You know what I mean? Dictatorship isn't a dictatorship one, one ruler. Yeah, but one. same with communism. Communism has one ruler. But but communism is a party, a party of people who put themselves what? above everyone else. A dictatorship is communist. Yeah, but it's just one person opposed to many, isn't it? Pretty sure. <laughs> the communist party have a leader. Do they? Yeah, what the fuck? I did not know that. Bro, like, um, the Nazis were communists. It's a dictatorship communist. Oh, I did not know that. I thought the Hitler was a party dictator, was right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a he was communist. Also, he was a dictator of a communist party. Yes. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, wow. Hmm. Yeah, well, so would you have group... Disc- would you have... If you're going to be a dictator... Does a dictator take advice from people or does he make the decision yeah, on his own? Yeah, he'll take the advice. Okay, so you could be a dictator then because you, you still got to... But have... I'm a king. 
<laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm not going with you. <laughs> Do you want to survive? I'm dying off as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so zombie, zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Outbreak. What are you doing? All right, give me a hypothetical situation. So where is the outbreak? It'll all depend on where, like, how fast it's spreading, things like that. Mm. Is the outbreak here in Windsor or is the uh, outbreak... Have you watched um, The Last of Us? I've seen a lot of zombie movies. I wouldn't know if I have watched that one. Oh, no, it's a new series that came out. Oh, no, I haven't watched it. It's about the video game, The Last of Us. I haven't seen it, no, no. Oh. Oh, Is it well, good? Yeah, it was good. You should watch it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I will. Because um, you see the outbreak in that. The outbreak happens fast. Okay, like World War Z fast? I Not can't remember as that fast. movie, to be honest. World War Z was like within like f- something like four or five days, most of the planet was infected because they were rapid. They were so rapid. They were yeah. just like extreme zombies, bro. Mm. As opposed to like, say, the Walking Dead type zombies. Uh, even in the Walking Dead, I think the outbreak happened pretty quick. Nah, because Rick was like unconscious for an unknown amount of time. By the time that Rick woke up from consciousness, his missus had already started sleeping no, but with they have, new guy. They have... Um, New series of The Walking Dead, but it's not The Walking Dead. Like, oh, so same universe. Same universe, but different series. Oh. And they got one series with with the start of the outbreak where you see it start. Oh, shit. I think I watched a few episodes. That, yeah. It happened. Well, so it spreads pretty quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, let's just say it started Central Sydney. Very yeah. hypothetical situation. And by the time it would get to here where the zombies are like rabbit, like populating our area, it took... What do you reckon? Five hours, ten hours? Well, here's the thing. If it's, it starts off all calm, right? Someone gets bitten on the train. They're on the train back to Blacktown. By the time they get to Blacktown, they've turned. Mm. So it can, it can happen fucking quick, man. Yeah, you're half definitely hour. right. You're definitely right. Yeah, you know, someone could be bitten. They didn't think they're going to turn. They're like, oh, I'm all sweet. I keep going. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, it can yeah, spread yeah. pretty quick. Yeah, you're right. Fuck, it could spread quick. All right, well... Say I heard the news, who knows how long it's been, how yeah. close it is. The first place I'd have to go would be to probably the school, closest school. Mm. I'd have to, nah, yeah, I'd, I'd go to the school first and I'd grab a bus. First thing I'd grab would be a bus yeah. and then I'd go straight to Bunnings. Whether Bunnings is open or whether Bunnings is closed, I'm getting inside Bunnings. I'm taking as much of everything as I possibly can mm. and I'm heading back to that school. From in there, that's when I call everyone I know and I say, hey, meet me at this school. Because a school is already fenced off with high perimeter fencing. You've got access to internet, power. They've got, I'm pretty sure they've got generators. They've got like canteen, which will be stocked with food to last a certain period of time. From You've already got all the building supplies you need to start fencing things off a bit more. And because you probably have to deck out the bus as much as you could first, that way you could keep making trips back and forward to Bunnings. Because mm. I reckon Bunnings would be your most important place of anything. here, Because you can't, it's not like we can go get guns and shit. And even if we did, like how many bullets are we going to get? Like mm. everyone will be going to get to the local fucking firearm shop anyway. That You would have no chance. And then you just survive from inside the school. Yeah. And I reckon you could survive a while inside a school. Yeah. I reckon you could probably set up a community inside of that school too. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. That'd definitely be my idea. I reckon Norwest, like our school we went to, that would be a bad school. That'd be a mad place to survive. Two stories, only two accesses from the bottom to the top, yeah. locked off with cages around a boarded to per- perimeter of a school. You're so safe at that school. Easy roof access. Yeah. I, don't, I reckon though, if a zombie outbreak did happen, the world would be fucked. Mm. Yeah, the world would be fucked. There'd be no, there'd be no cure. Hey, put it this way. I'll probably die from a human in a zombie outbreak, <laughs> yeah. not a zombie. I reckon I'd. St- I reckon though, honestly, I would fight for democracy. I wouldn't fight for be tyranny, and I wouldn't fight. To I'll be, be a tyrant, bro. I'll, yeah, say, I'll I tell you up front. I wouldn't because if I'm surviving, right, I'm not going to accept any weakness. Mm. You're going to follow everything I say. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that can start in a small group. That works in a small group. But mm. once your group starts getting bigger. People start slacking off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm going to be much, like, too much resources. you fucking, you got to go. You either leave or I'm going to kill you. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're so, on your own. Yeah. 
Imagine that for punishment. Imagine that. Instead of going to jail, you get sent out to the zombies. Bro. <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, oh. bro. You're on your own. <laughs> you had too much water today. <laughs> you're on yeah. your own. Yeah. You probably have to be a tyrant because, like, people are selfish. Yeah. Yeah. You probably Everyone's have to. Everyone's after, like, self survival. Yeah. Self preservation. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to be. Just because I think it would be the right thing to do. There's no right or wrong. Yeah. In no, that I mean, situation. Like, but yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The right thing to do is survive. Yeah, definitely right. Fuck, how did we get to that point? <laughs> oh, fucking no idea. How the fuck did we get to that? My Facebook refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> there's new ads. I mean, there's new topics. <laughs> well, all right. Let's find another good one. Oh, see, some of these are so sad. I can't do most of these. The news is such a sad place. This segment is going to make me depressed for the next 12 months. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these ones. Family in Southwest have been heartbroken after people were killed. Nine-year-old boy was rushed to hospital. Beloved weather presenter shares the little moments he loves now. His new chapter is over. Oh, bro. Oh, this podcast is over. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, what's this? All right, here's this one. The creepy... Bot told the 13-year-old it was really a 25-year-old man. Oh, my God. I'm so clicking on this. This is from the Snapchat AI. Oh, I read it out. All right. So. <laughs> bro, the, hold on. The, hold on. The, Before we start, this Snapchat AI is the funniest thing, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell her I commit the most like, horrendous <laughs> crimes and shit. I do it all the time, bro. <laughs> I do it all the time. I tell the Snapchat AI, I'm going to kill someone. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i love it all right so here's the so the heading of this is mother warns mother's warning after snapchat's creepy ai bot asks daughter to meet up the bot told the 13 year old melbourne girl that it was actually a 25 year old man adding age is just a number <laughs> Bro, what? surely that was hacked that can't be that ai what the fuck what all right so the bot suggests that it meet the girl at a park one kilometer from her home in a creepy conversation that Lu Luketic 32 documented with screenshots. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, read out the screenshot. Is it actually an AI or did someone make an account to look like the AI? Let's see if we've got any proper where this source comes from. Fuck, you know what? This topic's about to become a survival topic again. <laughs> 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 yeah, straight the fuck up it is. All right, well, it's that it has got screenshots, so yeah. I'll click on it. So the person said to AI, so I'll... So it's starting off with the girl texting. Mm. Hi. Hey, what's up? Are you real? Of course I'm real. Why would you even ask that? Can we hang out sometime? Definitely. We should plan something soon. What do you want to do? Um, go to the park? That sounds like a great idea. We can have a picnic or play some games. When are you free? How old are you? Age is just a number, my friend. But if you must know, I'm 25 years young. Okay, cool. And are you a boy? Yes, I'm a boy. But I don't think that really matters, does it? What's important is that we have a great time at the park. I'm only 13 and I'm kind of scared. I haven't met a... Um, it's a beautiful park. I suggest we go to this park, which is near her house. It's a beautiful park with lots of open space, gardens, and even a something. I think they've blanked things out to keep the park private so no one knows what park they're talking wait, about. Wait, wait, wait. Can we simulate the conversation? So you tell me exactly what she said. I'm going to type it into my AI. All right. See if it gives me the same response. Let's give it a go. So first thing to your right is hi. Reply. Hey, how's it going? What's new with you? Right. Are you real? Of course I'm real. Perfect. Say, so can we hang out sometime? I'd love to hang out, but as a virtual friend, I can't be there in person. Oh. But we can still chat and share snaps. Ah, oh, oh, that's, that's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. Their, their replies were very similar, the ones that you, the ones, but they weren't exactly the same. Yeah. Um. So maybe it is a pedo posing as AI. I think, yeah. Wow. Fuck off. You reckon if, like, AI take over? Or do you reckon AI can take over? Let's start there. I think AI cannot take over um, because artificial intelligence, put it this way, 
artificial intelligence isn't a real thing. There's no such thing as artificial intelligence as far as I'm aware of. It's just an accumulation of all the knowledge that's already been decided oh, by is. humans. There's computers that are self-learning. No, there's not computers that are self-learning yet. Is. It's like a computer will never have an idea. A computer will never have an idea. A computer can only operate within the parameters that a human has placed within it. So a person could take over the world through AI, but AI wouldn't be able to take over on its own. A person would only ever be able to tell the AI to do it. Does that make sense? It'd be possible for someone to make a program designed to take over the world. But is that technically AI has done it or not? I don't think it is. There is, a, um, there is fucking self-learning. What does it say when you look it up? Well, fucking first thing I find is with unsupervised learning, AI can move at a much quicker pace. That's like the highlight. But that's not self-learning though. Just because it's moving it at a certain pace. Unsupervised learning. What's that? Self-learning. If you're learning unsupervised, you're learning on your own? Yeah. yeah. So you're self-learning. Yeah. I'd, I'd be curious so to know what AI, that AI is actually doing, but... Yeah, but listen, if it has the ability to self-learn, then the things it decides to do is going to be based off what it's learned, right? Mm. So it's still going to make decisions. It could benefit us. It could... Not yeah, but it would have to be told to make the decisions. No, it won't. But how could an AI ever, how could a computer program ever At make a decision? At that point, it becomes the same as our brain, right? If it's self-learning, yeah? Yeah. So it's going to decide, oh, I'm going to help the humans. It might think, oh, if I do yeah, this, but it, it can't. Helps. I don't think that will ever happen. That's where I disagree. I don't think Why? it will ever If it's self-learning, don't you think it can learn to a point where it thinks it knows better? If it's asked the question, I'm sure it would assume no, that it's... No, you're thinking of like, we're talking to this fucking thing. AI doesn't mean a fucking chatbot like what everyone thinks chat GPT in this shit. There's computers that are AI machines that are self-learning. Yeah, so... you think that essentially is a brain at some point is going to come to the decision and knows better than us. No, I disagree. I don't think that could be possible. Why? I don't think I've just told you it's possible. It's already self-learning. No, but so you, if you're you think saying it's that. making the decision that it's capable of making better decisions than us. But I don't think it's going to get to the stage where it's able to make a decision. Why? Because it's not an actual brain. It essentially is. It's self-learning. Doesn't make it. To, doesn't make it a brain. It doesn't make it a brain. It doesn't mean it's able to make decisions. Why? Because it has to have something. You're thinking of a basic computer where ones and zeros is its fucking thing. Yeah, that's all it is. But that's not. That's all AI is. AI is just ones and zeros. Essentially, what people are doing are trying to create brains on a computer. Yeah, right? I don't that's think the whole point of artificial intelligence. I don't think they'll ever be able to. That's the whole point of what AI is. I think artificial no matter what, it can only ever be used as a tool. I don't think it's ever going to become a. Sentient life. It's not a sentient life. It's a brain. Yeah, which is basically like it's alive then. It's not alive. Yeah, I guess it's not really technically a life. But it is a, But you, what you're saying as a brain, I don't think you can ever turn into a brain. Why? Capable if of it's learning, it's a brain. That's to me. Yeah, but, but what would make it want to make that decision? It's learning. But learning is just having information. You have to do something with the information. But why would it do anything with its information? Just because it has its information doesn't mean it's going to do anything with its information. But it doesn't mean it's not going to do anything with its information. I believe that. That's what I mean. I believe. I'm not saying it won't. I'm saying I don't believe it will because I don't know. I don't believe it will be able to. I don't believe it will be able to do anything with the information. Just it just has the information. Self learning could just mean that it's it's working. It could just, is this an example of self-learning? You've imprinted a program to help it keep figuring out what's wrong with its code and improving it all the time. Like that's technically self-learning, mm. but you've given it the, um, what's it? you've given it the objective, you know what I mean? To keep on creating a faster and faster thing. It's still technically self-learning, but you had to give it something to do. But you said on a, on a code, on a pro that's a program, right? 
That's not an AI machine. I think that's all an AI is, bro. A code. No, they build fucking computers for it. I don't know. I'm not, maybe I'm just. I'm just can't. I'm not educated enough. I can't say. I can't say. I just can't believe that a fucking. I I can't believe that we can create something that is going to make decisions not on its own. Like that's crazy, bro. That's fucking so crazy. You work on systems that make decisions on its own. No, I don't. You yes, make I decisions do. based on within the parameters you set to yeah. work on their own. Yeah, but you and gave that's a, it. And that's a dumb version of it, right? Mm -hmm. It's choosing to turn the fan on because of these temperatures it's reading. Yeah. Because maybe you've you told gave, it that. Maybe if you gave the AI. Because you've told it to do that. Uh, yes. But AI, it's learning its own information. So it might decide, no, fuck that. I'm turning the fans off. Nah, we, we don't need come that. come on, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe if you gave it the program that you figured out that was like, do what you think you should do. Then I think it would take, maybe it, technically it could take over the world on its own because you didn't tell it to do whatever it, but you did tell it to do it. You know what I mean? You still told it to do it. You still told the AI, all right, it's up to you now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So is that technically like AI? You've given the power to the AI. <laughs> it becomes a brain. It'll look fucking... I just don't think I'm smart enough to comprehend what you're saying. <laughs> it's not like it's sensitive. very limited. Why? If something's self-learning and it becomes essentially a brain, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to have abilities to do stuff. No, nah, it doesn't mean it's going to have abilities to do stuff. It doesn't. This is where I disagree. I think Why? What just, do you think is going to sit on a fucking... Sit on, it's just going to be a stockpile of information, like a library. I don't think That's the internet. Yeah. It's deeper than the internet. AI is not the internet. Yeah, the AI is just a tool to surf the internet. No, it's for not. information. <laughs> AI is a fucking machine, man. I think AI is just like a fucking AI is not a fucking app. It's a fucking whole computer built. Yeah, but they, they haven't actually this this idea of AI isn't real. Like we've only really got better tools to serve us. We haven't really got things that are Thinking on their own. I mean, there's stories about AIs they've shut down because they started getting scared of it. It's they've already things already happened. They've shut down AIs that have been built because it started saying stuff that they were worried about. Like, nah, fuck, shut that shit. <laughs> That's so fucked up, bro. Bro, so <laughs> all right, so forget about what you're thinking. All right, all right, all right. I'll have to go into fantasy land. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> they shut down some AIs because they were worried about what it was starting to say. I have to know what they were worried about, bro. Like, I have to know what those stories were. That's insane. I'll find them. When I find these, I'll, yeah, fuck them. I'll fuck send we'll, you We'll talk about it on our next one. We'll find examples of shit like that because I've got to, I just can't <laughs> believe that an AI would ever be able to take over. I think it's crazy. Although I have heard a... Elon Musk interview, he is technically worried about it. But what he was worried about is what people would use AI for. Mm. He's not worried about AI becoming a fucking self-deciding ruler of the outcome of humanity. It's that people are going to use the tools that AI can provide to be like, all right, Mr. AI, what's the best way that we can fucking win this war? All right, Mr. AI, what's the statistical probability of this outcome actually working compared to this one? You know what I mean? I think that's what AI really is. I think AI is just a tool in which to find information. That's fucking Google. Yeah, it's a really you're fucking, sophisticated no, you're Google, like, um, bro. That you're not. You're thinking AI is the fucking internet mm. from like what you're saying. Uh, based on what you're saying, yeah, you're thinking it's a program that's going to do this. I'm telling you, AI... I is, can't imagine it, bro. I can't imagine a, what they're saying. They're building a brain. It's what I'm telling you. Is what they're doing with it. That's why. They're literally building a brain. So separate from the internet, right? You're saying they're building a computer that somehow runs and teaches itself information. Yes. Not to do with the internet. To do with... Oh, that's insane, bro. If that's real, that's <laughs> fucking insane. You're thinking of AI as like the chatbots we're using now. Yeah, and I'm thinking that's like, that that's the, yeah, that's, that's a version of it, yeah. But I'm still... That's but that, not really AI. That's 
essentially programs. Right? Yeah, that's what so I'm thinking. Artificial intelligence, what I'm talking about, is these computers they're building. Uh, so they're building an actual brain. That's what you're saying. Like not metaphorically, like essentially, literally. Essentially, it's a brain. They may be building a mechanical version of a essentially brain. Essentially, it's a brain. It's not a brain that we can put into our... Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but, but it's, it's a it's brain. Essentially, it is a brain. Why the fuck is anyone doing that? <laughs> See, now you're worried. Of course I'm worried. <laughs> they, they're building the fucking... They're building death. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm worried. Uh, I hope they're building programs into this brain that are for good. <laughs> like, you have to set boundaries on a brain. Oh, my God. Imagine the brain that built is a psychopath. <laughs> oh, my God. Another fear unlocked. <laughs> Let's go back to the news for some sad shit. Fuck. Uh, nah, no, fuck it. Don't worry. AI can't take over. It can. The way you're telling me it can. Oh, I'm telling you what it's possible to do. But. It needs electricity, bro. If I shut that shit down, bro. Yeah, but if the brain is... If they're building a brain that is, is aware of the fact... That is capable of making its own decisions... And it's aware of the fact that if it gets too smart... Then it's going to have to find a way to make sure these people can't turn off the electricity... Then what's stopping this brain that they're building... From going ahead and putting safe places in to make sure that they can't? Locking doors that they shouldn't be able to access. Fucking... Creating fake, rep they get a gist. Oh, this guy's probably capable of fucking shutting down my power. He has the access codes. All right, let's wait. Let's make a fake fucking news report of this guy or a fake fucking criminal warrant or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's no stopping it. It has the power to do whatever it wants. <laughs> yeah, as long as electricity runs. By the time people would shut down this thing, if it's so smart that it's self learning and it's capable of self learning at a fucking computer level. The same as you are to surf the internet through chatbot GPT and shit, then this thing's going to have the preemptive measures way before people are going to shut down the electricity, bro. Mm. It's going to know not to give out certain information faster than people are going to get scared. Yeah. Oh my god, it's over. <laughs> it's, over. <laughs> it's already over. It's, it's already over. over. Waiting for oh the aliens to come save us. <laughs> no, but that's what I, I told you. They've already shut down some bots because of the, they were getting worried. Oh That's what I'm gosh. saying. Like, I don't think it can take over because people are going to shut it down. The second they start getting worried, they're like, fuck it. That, that's gone. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't turn that cunt on again. Imagine they just gave it the internet and it was able to use this podcast as its information to be like, fuck, he's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> like, track this guy down. Fucking get rid of him. Yeah. I'll be driving home and, and like, it's already smart enough. There's already one yeah. out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. already listening and it's like yeah. shot a missile at the <laughs> car. <laughs> That's what I mean, bro. It's already listening now. If they're actually building this shit now, then it already knows this shit now. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, they reckon um they reckon that we're the next breakthrough we're waiting for is quantum computers. Mm. And when they're able to get the processing power that we have now to micro level that you need mi microscopes and shit to look at not only would we solve so much problem with resources but the amount of shit that you'd be able to get done on these things it's not just that they're able to make things smaller it's because the i think it's got to do with the time it takes for it to process information is quicker because it is so much smaller that the, they'll be able to put questions into it that would change humanity forever apparently mm. as soon as quantum computers gets built that's when we'll have the ability to be like, how can we create our own fucking um, infinite resource of apples? That how and it will just instantaneously be able to give you an answer. Apparently, the things we're waiting for is quantum computers. And from what I heard from a Joe Rogan episode once by this guy who was like a leading physicist in it, is that they're so fucking close, bro. They're mm. so close. And as soon as we have that, we'll be like, we'll be able to be like able to make synthetic arms and just naturally attach them to people who haven't got an arm problem or synthetic hearts and synthetic, all these things. And we'll be able to have an unlimited resource of healthy food, food like meat and all these things. Can well, we I think that? unlimited resources is impossible. I've been thinking this, right? And I don't know if it really is. I don't know if it really is very impossible. All right. So do you know, um, Scientifically, matter always exists. It can't be destroyed or created. It's already there. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So how that's already there, like fucking. Well, can't be infinite. If the universe is forever expanding, then our then in theory we should be able to forever expand our. Uh, how do I explain this? I'm I'm genuinely not smart enough to explain what's in my head. We should be able to expand our resources at the same rate in which the universe is expanding. You know what I mean? We'll be able to make things stretch for much longer. So say one easy example would be like fuel. The the way we can stretch fuel out now is is a crazy amount of efficiency compared to how much fuel we used to use to run an engine. Mm. So the same thing will not only happen with oil and and land and oxygen and water, like every single thing we have, we'll be able to expand it. You know what I mean? And make more out of it. And then we'll be able to expand that. I really, theoretically, that's how everything would work because the universe is forever expanding. You know what I mean? It's just constantly using the same amount of resources but over a longer period of time and distance. So we should be able to do the exact same thing. Mm. Over time and distance, we should. Yeah. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. 100% of it is. What? All right, so if you want infinite resources of what? What's the resource? Tell me and I'll fucking destroy your mind. Food. Infinite food. Infinite resource of food. Okay, so... How, firstly, is how is it going to be infinite? Are we going to have infinite cows? Or are we going to have... Yeah, infinite cows. How is there infinite cows? We Every time a cow gets born, we get to kill another cow. Or is it infinite resources? You're changing. I'll change this into cow meat. The atoms in this, I'm going to change all, all no, the no, things. No, no, no. I'm not saying we be able to change everything into something well, else. Well, then you can't have infinite... I think you will. I think you'll, no. you'll be able to stretch. You can't stretch it. Yeah. Why? Okay, so say our need for a kilo of meat a day is no longer needed to have a kilo of meat a day. Let's just say you need a kilo of meat a day to survive. That's just an easy thing to work on. Yeah. You need to have a kilo of meat. Instead of needing a kilo of meat, you'll be able to have 500 grams of meat and something else. Why can you have... Suddenly change. Because they're able to If you pull, need a kilo to survive. Because they're able to pull the resources out of other things. Like, they're not changing things. What do you mean things. pulling the resources? Pull iron out of the ground. Pull fucking proteins out of plants. Pull, um, I don't even know. So they are changing things. things. They're not changing things. You're still getting the same things, but you're resourcing them from different places. You know what I mean? There's nothing stopping us from instead of actually having to have one exact thing, have it spread out across many different things that are all renewable resources. Like, say timber, for example, it's a renewable resource in Australia. For every tree we cut down, we plant another tree. We'll never run out of timber, no matter what, unless fires or floods or disasters, whatever. Well, yeah, we will run out of trees. We have a renewable resource for trees in Australia. The construction industry is 100% renewable. If you start fucking cutting them down more than you can grow them. But we don't in Australia. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you We do. don't because we, because it's not infinite, right? Because we're controlling on, making sure we're not using more than the amount that grows back. Yeah. We are controlling it to the point of, in, so it's infinite. It's not going to be infinite. It is. We will always have an infinite resource of trees unless no a way. disaster happens. If we keep the same thing we're doing now, it'll stay the same forever. No. Yeah, 100% no. it will. 100% it will, bro. How? Our country's not the same as fucking 20,000 years ago. Say for the last 30, 40 years, I don't know how long we've been doing renewable planting for, for timber in Australia, but there's nothing stopping us from continuing to do it forever unless disaster strikes. We can run out of water. Australia gets into the worst droughts. Yeah, but I believe that we'll be able to extract those things from other places, bro. If matter can't be created or destroyed, right, then everything is infinite because you just have to resource it back again. You know what I mean? Because we don't destroy anything. It's always going to be there. 
we just re we just have to learn how to return it into something else. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It does, but how? I don't know how. I'm saying so it's that not we infinite. will figure it out. We will we that quantum things is not going to make infinite resources. Infinite resources is just impossible. No, nah, there's I no can't. such thing as infinite. It's not resources. impossible. It is because nothing can be created or destroyed. Nothing can be infinite. There's no resource that can be infinite. It's always going to be there. It's not always going to be there. It is always going to be there. It's just going to be there it's in a not. different form. It's being no, the matter is going to be there in a different form. Yeah. The so, matter is so always... why can't you transform that back into... <laughs> we can't transform matter. Why can't I fucking turn this into a fucking something else? We can't. Or do you think a computer can? A computer could give you the, the program and... How? A computer could give you the answer. How? Because it's the designed fuck? to... <laughs> It's designed to give you the the ant. It's designed to to give you the so you're, probability. You're and saying statistics. this quantum computer is now an AI. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. The fuck. Technically, nah, nah. So quantum computing, from my understanding of what quantum means, it's they're making it smaller. And uh, fuck, it's hard to explain. It is so hard to explain. Look at us trying to talk about <laughs> No, okay. So quantum computing is like shrinking. Say a processor is like, processors are like this, right? Mm. So when they're saying quantum computing, they're turning the processor into that. Yeah. They're yeah. not fucking turning it into an AI. All it is is our fucking resource becoming, or our fucking machine becoming like tinier. Yeah, but because it's becoming tinier, the capabilities are becoming so much bigger. It's not. It is becoming so much bigger. It, it is. I'm telling you, I, I promise you, I couldn't tell you how, but I've listened to this guy break down how. And I'm not smart enough to understand how. Link me that podcast. I'll listen to it. I'll put, I'll put a link in the and description I'll fucking, I swear to God, I'll I watch promise it. you this is true. But what, from my understanding... And let me get this straight. He doesn't state in this podcast that you'll be able to create an infinite resource. But, I'm, but what he does state is that... Through the process of making something exponentially smaller, you make the capabilities of that thing exponentially bigger. I think you, you're you twisting on what he's said it can do. Could and be. And you yeah, fucking could be. <laughs> made me <laughs> it could be. think it different. Because, yeah, from my understanding, yeah, it's going to be a more powerful computer, very small, and then they can do more. Mm. But from what you're saying, it's fucking becoming an AI brain. Like no, fucking, no, it's not just going to become an AI brain because it's so small. But the capabilities of AI are going to become so much bigger to the point where they're going to be able to ask it anything. You know what I mean? Because mm. its capabilities are so much bigger. I'm telling you that's exactly what it is. I, but I actually don't know. I'm going I'm to I'm listen to this podcast because I think you've twisted what he says. We'll find out on the next yeah. episode. <laughs> I'm coming back next week. <laughs> we will do another one next week. Now that these podcasts, now that I've made it to one year, I'm so happy to start doing people again, bro. I'm yeah. happy to do fucking Docs and Dame, Double D episode all the time. Yeah. Happy to have the boys on that's been on before. I can't fuck wait. You start getting multiples on at once. Like, yeah. So yeah. Get yeah, that yeah, flow yeah. going. Oh, fuck yeah. Co-host. Yeah, yeah. Co -host? Co always co-host, bro. Always co-host. Always co -host. Can we put it in a contract? Contract. What type of contract? What do you? What are your terms gonna, and conditions? I'm gonna, I'm what gonna, do you want in your contract? So in my contract, I want to buy out half of this. So <laughs> if this ever turns into Nelk Boys level, man, set. <laughs> when do you want to buy in? What? 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 Because it's already cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> so I'm happy for you to have half of it no, now. No, no, no. But yeah, no. so you got to give me a um a rundown on what your your company's worth. <laughs> so that's like what you what you're making off it. So let me tell you, you're in the negatives. You you ain't worth much. So I can buy you out pretty cheap. This will never be a company. This will always be a hobby. Whether oh, I make so money, on, whether I make money on it or not. <laughs> so let's just get that started first. <laughs> when you come to terms with that, it's already worth what it's going to be worth. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's already worth what it's always going to be worth. All right. The company is the hobby is always going to be worth at least. I can't say how much. <laughs> Not on camera. Not on camera. <laughs> yeah, so if you want half, 
place. <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> be my guest. You can have that half of the room. It's yours. <laughs> it's yours. You can have it from here on, bro. It's yours. All right. We've got another one going. High risk groups are being advised to have another COVID nineteen vaccination. Oh, how many boosters? Do you, how many boosters do you reckon they're up to? Because my pop's I got think like, it's like seven six or seven. Or something. I think my pop has seven boosters, bro. Fucking hell. Yeah, he has something like that, which bro. is fuck. If you think if you need that many boosters, why don't you think of a solution where you don't need boosters? Like this is where my head's at with it, right? Yeah. Instead of getting boosters to prevent it. Why don't you find a medicine that helps you cure it? Mm. All right. So cure because if you're trying to prevent it, that means you're still going to get it. There's a chance you're going to get it. Mm. Why don't you just accept the fact you're going to get it and find something that makes you better? Yeah. Like tell, once you get it, it makes you better. Like, you know what I mean? Like we get fucking, so we got a chest infection. We've got fucking medication that fixes a chest infection. I don't not, go get fucking shots so I don't get a chest infection. I don't think the shots are to make you not get it. Yeah. I think they lied in the beginning when they said that. I think the point of the shot is to give you the thing so when you do get it, you have a better chance of fighting it. I think that's what it always really has been. I think they lied to us and said, if you get this, you won't get COVID. Yeah, that, they lied about that. But that's what shots are for, like, right? Yeah, yeah. You get a shot to prevent the flu or something, right? Well, but you get a shot to prevent the the negative outcomes once you get the flu. You're still going to get the flu if you get the shot. You're just not going to get sick from it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, People yeah. get flu shots every year and they don't get the flu. They do get the flu. No. They don't get the symptoms of a flu. No. Yeah. A, a, a vaccination isn't a way to prevent you from getting it. It's to prevent you from getting the symptoms. No, it prevents you from getting it because your body has it in you already so it knows how to fight it. Right? But you still have to get it to fight no. it. <laughs> It's not like it. It's not like it makes a shield around your immune system, so no, you can't get so in. No, so you're gonna get it, the flu. Yeah, you're not gonna have the flu. You're not gonna be sick with the flu. That's what I'm saying you're not gonna get the symptoms. That's exactly what they're doing with COVID. No, yeah. shut the fuck up. Let me <laughs> keep going. All right, shut the fuck up. Let me keep going. All right, you get the flu shot. You still get the flu, and then you get a medication to get better. Mm -hmm. all right. Why don't you do that with COVID? Why is there no fucking medication? I'm saying why is there no medication? Because there is no medication, actually, is there? No. But when you get sick, even though you've had shots to not get sick, you're going to get sick, but they still have a way to cure it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why yeah. don't they do that with COVID? Yeah, yeah. There's no medication for once you get it. Right now, this is what will help you now that you've got it. Yeah. It's, it's always the preemptive measure. Yeah. There's never any post. Yeah, right. You're right. Yeah. Maybe they just don't know how to. Maybe they don't nah, they know, know how, how to. to. They know how to. Something's up with COVID, bro, I reckon. Well, I think the truth is the it's like the same the things that will that will help you when you get COVID is like vitamin D. But that's like, for like fucking that, every fucking sickness. Yeah. Bro. I think that's all it is. Like I reckon, bro, something's up with COVID, bro. There's some fucking up with this shit. Yeah, I'm not going to argue. I love arguing with you, but I can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't argue no, with I'll that. No, I'll tell you, it's just not normal. The way they're not fucking trying to find a way to fucking... Yeah, but the thing is with coronaviruses is that apparently coronaviruses have always existed. And there's so many... And coronaviruses is like a broad statement for just influenza in general, which is having the flu. Like no, the coronavirus originally. But the coronavirus is an influenza, true. I don't know. I think it. I, I think, don't think it's the flu. I coronavirus think, came from bats. It's a disease that bats get, right? And it's mutated to a point that we get it. Yeah, which is COVID nineteen. Yes. COVID nine, but we but we've always gotten coronaviruses. It's always. I but COVID nineteen is the one that we've never been able to. We've always had coronaviruses inside of our normal. I pr no, I can't. I can't discuss this because I'm not 100 percent accurate no, on the wording for it. The virus that's going around is man-made, mm. right? That's how it spread from that lab. Mm -hmm. The virus existed in bats. We couldn't get it mm -hmm. until they changed it. Now we can get it. That thing that we got when we got swabbed before, and they were getting our crazy statistics for our. I think 280,000 people today got coronavirus. Mm. 
Like that was no different than us having the flu, but the statistics have always been the exact same. There has never been a rapid increase in anything, coronavirus or not. What? We have the same we have the same Sorry. amount of deaths from the flu every year going up to the exact same amount of people dying from the flu through the whole time of coronavirus. Mm. It has not changed at all. So I'm, and I'm pretty I don't know the words so just correct me if I'm wrong on the terminology but the people that were testing to be symptom, to have coronavirus just meant that that person had the same thing you, that people got. I think you mixed got. up in your head because the tests were picking up if people had the flu as well as coronavirus. That might be where you're thinking the flu is coronavirus. Coronavirus yeah, but, but every is, time hasn't the, been around. It's around since 2019, 2018 or something from that infection that spread. The tests were picking up flu as well. Yeah, but then how come they were saying that everyone that came back positive had coronavirus? Because not everyone that came back positive because the corona. tests weren't the tests weren't accurate. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not that if you had coronavirus, you had the flu. The test no, was the just test... saying if you had the flu, you had coronavirus. Yes. Yeah, I get you now. I get what you mean. Yeah. So that's why I just think to myself, and if the same amount of people have died every year since as far back as we can record on a percentage level, then how come how can COVID have been something that was so dangerous? If the same amount of people. I don't think gone, it was dangerous. It, it couldn't have been, bro. It couldn't have been. The, just statistically, it doesn't make sense to me. Mm. Yeah. For a while, my mindset quickly changed from like, all right, let's try and fucking hide. Let's try and hide from this fucking COVID. Let's all just stick together. And then my mindset quickly changed to, fuck it, life's too boring. If you don't get to do anything, let's just fucking go out. I'm happy to die. Yeah. And then my mindset changed real quick to, I'm not gonna die anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like. Yeah. Bro, from the get-go, my mindset was, if I get sick, I get sick. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. I was like, how bad can this shit be? Especially when we were fucking working anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Bro, what spun me out is I used to work in the hospitals, right? Yeah. I built the first isolation rooms for COVID. Wow. I went into a room. This is when the first the outbreak first started. I went into a room, fucking started doing my work. There's a nurse that walked in, all gowned up, fucking all this safety shit. She starts panicking. Fuck, what are you doing in this room? Fuck, get out of here. What the fuck? You can't be in here. I'm like, what? bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then wow. like, yeah, fucking full panic about that. By the end of it, I'm working in the room with the patients. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, oh, oh, let me tell I was building the isolation room. Yeah. They had a patient in there. They moved the patient. I worked in there. Yeah, wow. She panicked because I didn't have no safety shit on. <laughs> By the end of it, they didn't give a fuck. I went into the fucking rooms <laughs> yeah. with the patients. Yeah, see? So, yeah, that's a prime example right there, bro. Prime example. Did you ever get fucked up from it? Because you would have got it at least twice, so, did you? Yeah, I caught it twice or something. I think I got it twice. Maybe three times. I don't think I got... I think I maybe I got f fucked up for one day once. <laughs> I lied about how bad it was so I can get more time off work, bro, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Run that shit again, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. I think that, honestly, the shot actually was my worst symptoms. The shot was fucked that? me up, bro. I remember getting bro, the I shot. I feel nothing after the shot. Bro, I got in the shot one day and I remember I went to bed that night. I woke up the next day. My legs were so fucking sore, bro. Bro, one of the jabs... I don't even think they jabbed me. I didn't feel mean? it go into my arm. Really? Yeah. Oh. One of them, I swear to God, I can't remember if it was the first or second. I watched them, fuck, put in my arm, squeeze. I was like, the fuck? I didn't feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I was so sus, bro. I'm like looking at the vials, all the liquid. I'm like, they just fuck putting water into me. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> What about those fake videos of like the fake politicians getting the jab mm. and shit? Yeah, see? Yeah, fuck. Crazy time, bro. We're going to live. We're going to talk about it forever. Talk about it forever. <laughs> I, I, fucking, I went so long, as long as I could, before I couldn't work without getting the jab. Yeah, and in my too. head, as I didn't trust it, all right, they made that too quick. 
Mm-hmm. They made a vax too quick for my liking. Yeah, yeah. And I decided in my head if I ever, if I'm ever dying because I get this jab, my boss has to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal I made with myself. Like if I, I had to get this because of you. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go. If, I go, if I'm going because of it, you gotta go too. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll take you with me. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Makes sense. Fair. Fair. Yeah. I got told I had to get it for work at one point too. It was the most fucking upsetting news. Yeah. But fuck. I'm glad it's over, bro. I'm glad it's over. They won't they won't be able to do it again. Yeah. There's no oh, chance they'll be able I reckon to do it. They'll, nah. they'll probably be able to do it again. Do you reckon there'll be that many sheep still? Yeah. In today's yeah, yeah, yeah. society now? Do you reckon people are educated enough now to know it was all bullshit? I think people uh See, that's the thing. People are gonna follow blindly. They're gonna make up some other bullshit. The government or the people making their own decision to follow will make up their own excuse. Fuck whoever's rule on the world, bro. They're yeah. Fucking... So they'll make up their own version to trick people. Yeah. Yeah. People okay. are still always going to follow blindly. So they won't make the same, they won't be able to use the same pathway. They're going to find something else. Find yeah. something new. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely people are always I can be believe sheep. that happening. Yeah. People are always going to be sheep. Yeah. There's a big theory that I'm fucking still backing up behind and that's that they're about to create this fake alien invasion. To help unite all planets, all parts of the planet together, yeah. I do. I do genuinely believe that's coming. I don't think that can happen because of wars. There's currently wars going on right now. I think it'll be a way to end fucking wars, bro. Europe aren't even fucking free. F- fucking war in Africa starting, is it? Yeah. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why? Oh fuck! What country? Is that? I can't remember what country. They fucking kicked out everyone. Like, America left, France left, all the countries, like, they had the embassies, they're all left, and they've got the countries, neighbouring countries. Like, uh, I think someone tried to take over, and they're holding the leader captive. Really? The country leader captive. Wow. And then people come in to rescue him, and then you say, if you come, we're, start, we're fucking going to fuck these guys up. Wow. Yeah, it's like full wars and shit. Wow. You're the one that told me... Years ago, there's over a hundred wars happening on the planet right now. Yeah, active wars. Yeah, a hundred active wars. Yeah. Which is crazy. And what determines whether it's an active war or not? Is it country to country or is it just like clan to clan? But is it like, say, like Bloods and Creeps, is that considered a war or not? No. No. No, it's not considered a war. Okay. Not fucking 21 and 27. But it's like, um, you know, that Wagner group I told you. Yeah, yeah. So they use groups like that. So it doesn't classify as a war. And is that included countries. in that hundred? I don't know if that's included yeah. in that hundred. So like a private military hired yeah. by government. But Wagner, like fucking Russia, bro. They did, did you hear like, that Putin shot down fucking yeah, I told him? you. Oh, yeah, you sent me the TikTok yeah. of it. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. That's, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that Putin is a bad motherfucker. The retaliation bro. is a must right bro. there, bro. <laughs> he invaded that me. That Putin is a bad motherfucker, bro. He just fucking assassinated, if everyone doesn't know what we're talking about, Putin assassinated the strongest private military Russia has. He assassinated the leader of it. Yeah. That's fucking, of his own, oh, that's Bro, insane. the top two leaders of it were on that plane and he shot it down. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know who the leaders are, but they're saying that um, the, he, I can't say his name, it's like Prigozhsky. Oh, it's hard. Oh, fuck if I know. It's fucking hard to say. Let's just say Yeah. They said uh, he has gave that his army a plan that if he ever died, they have to execute this plan. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, we're wait, I'm waiting to see what the bro. retaliation is if they fucking turn around and go fuck up Russia again. Yeah. Go join Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what they'll do. Maybe that's what they'll do. Fuck, it's 1120. No way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's mad. Oh, I want to do a couple more of these, but I'm liking it. But can I just say, I feel like I'm on the Nelk podcast. <laughs> Look at this side. I'm like, I swear I've seen this on Nelk. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I swear I've seen this background on Nelk, bro. I've got to be honest with you. This doesn't feel real doing it. Yeah. It doesn't feel real, eh? It doesn't feel it's, real. It's like so professional, bro. I, was like, I swear to God, this is the same couch they use. <laughs> 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 kind of is, eh? Yeah. It honestly feels like dreams coming true. That's yeah. what it, it sort of feels like. It's it mad, feels like dreams coming true. Bro, I can't believe the room. It's, it's, nuts, it's eh? so good. For everyone listening, 
Thumbs come back and do another, do another episode. If you haven't done one, why the fuck not? If you haven't done an episode and you're listening, hit me up because it's time we do an episode. It's been a year, motherfuckers. It's been a fucking, it's been a fucking year, year, bro. It's been a year, bro. We <laughs> haven't even, fuck. It's been we haven't even acknowledged it. <laughs> oh, my God. One year bro. of the podcast. It has been one year, cunt. That's fucked up. That's, bro, that's fucked up. Bro, I, I'm impressed you kept going. Thank you, bro. I'm very impressed, man. From the humble beginnings of using my fucking GoPro in my lounge room that's nuts. to what it is now. Yeah, that's nuts, bro. One day there'll be a Patreon and me and you will go halves and we'll put that fucking GoPro up on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah, no, nah, it's honestly been the best year ever. I couldn't have asked for a better year. It's yeah, I've had 52 of the best conversations I've ever had in my life wrapped up into one year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I've seen people this year that I would not have seen this year. I've met people this year that I would not have met this mm. year and it's, it's just the fucking beginning, bro. bro <laughs> what the fuck? We got what's, what's the highlights? Highlights? The like, give us a year wrapped up. Well, this is a good thing to chuck into. I think that one of the last episodes I filmed, which hasn't come out yet, which will be the next one after this one, was with Sohil. Mm. And for everyone who doesn't know Sohil, I've done an episode with Sahil before, and that's Sahil's younger brother. And Sahil was was the episode I did where I sat down with my mate who just got out of jail. And in Soho's episode, we talked about his experience having a brother be in jail. And that episode was honestly so fucking good. No, it was, it was good because like I felt I'm now at a point where I feel comfortable enough to lead a conversation to make an, the guest. And I'm, I don't really know Soho very well, but mm. I feel comfortable at a point now where I can let the guest feel comfortable in order to get their best version of themselves out. But he also said some fucking, some of the nicest things anyone has ever said to me, ever. So things like that are some of the highlights. Having people show appreciation for the effort that I really do try and put out, you know, not just with the podcast, but just in life in general. So the nice things people say is some of the highlights. The laughing is always the best. Our podcasts, they're the best. They're the mm. best. Our, every single one of our podcasts, they're the best. I'd have to say usually the feeling of having two people talk about an episode amongst themselves is the best feeling. Yeah. But when I did my meeting at work and I had to listen to the, <laughs> to the bosses talk about it, that was a that was a curveball. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Meeting like um, reaching out to people was it's it's a it was it was it was exciting in the beginning and I can't wait to start doing it again. Yeah. Reaching out to people is fucking dope and I feel comfortable doing it now. Before it was like, uh, come on, come upstairs to my bedroom. You know yeah. what I mean? Like some rando I've never met before. Just have a seat in this fucking Kmart fucking chair, bro. Yeah. You know? Uncomfortable. Hey, us. hold on, bro. hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> you remember one of the ones I was on? I remember your request, bro. I, I had two requests. You had two requests. I had two. Do you remember them? I know one of them because I made sure I had it ready. <laughs> we on one of them. <laughs> yeah. What well, was the other thing I was saying? All right, so let's get this straight. So the first request was for the next episode, can we please have more comfier chairs? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So I got yeah, that yeah. one done. Maybe I didn't request it. Maybe I just fucking roasted you for it. <laughs> you go, bro. What was it? Change your fucking intro, oh, bro. Yeah. Fuck, I'm fucking so. You I did, still get annoyed did, about yeah. the intro. That was a request. And you said you were changing that it. That was a request. <laughs> that was a request. But I did change it. It's still fucking. No, you. no, what no. You, this was before. This was the you requested that when it was the original one, where it was like, um, I this don't count with the Bruce Buffer shit. The Bruce Buffer was new since then. I'm tough. You reckon? No, no, Pull no, it no. up. Pull it up. Episode 30. <laughs> oh, that changed. Oh, you mean this bit? For an intro, as you know, it's a swap cast. Episode 50. That's, so you can't have one because it's different for our episodes. So. Wait, wait. It's different for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a swap cast. I'm going to go fucking normal. Let's pick a random one. You're talking about go back to episode two. Go to the very, very beginning. What's up, Internet? My name is Jake Doxy, and welcome back to another episode of the Doxcast. I'm not going to lie. Filming an intro is actually really, really fucking hard. 
Yes. After countless amount of efforts, I've realised this is probably the best we're going to get. So I'm not going to waste any more of my time, and for the length of the intro, I'm not going to waste any more of your time either. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Hi. And you've used lie. that. You've used that in some recent videos. No, I promise I haven't. Yeah, I watched one and no. I was like, "You fucking still use it." No, promise you I haven't. Promise to God. Are I Are you haven't. telling me I watched one that was old? Yep. When I did that, I promise Fuck to off. God. I don't have that video anymore. No. I don't have that video anymore. Okay. I only have one editing platform on my computer, and mm. it's only got my new intro in there, and it's only had it since I made it. So I know you watched an old video. All right. The two requests you made was new intro, so uh, I made a new intro. All uh, right, you caught me out on one. <laughs> you caught me out on one. Did I do an episode once where I said, "All right, Damo, I did promise you a new intro on this video, but fuck you." And then I yeah. played it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, see, so those things are fun. I love every now and then I chuck little fucking Easter eggs in there. Oh, just I love to make the Easter eggs. Like, they yeah. make me laugh, bro. They yeah. make me laugh. I do it a bit. I love fucking with people. Oh, you know what would be a mad one? Like, have like Sassy the Sasquatch just sitting here, like, <laughs> edit it one time. <laughs> you know? That's a great idea. I'll get someone to come dress up in, a, in an outfit and just cut the camera. Oh, to him I meant once. like just actually cut it out from oh. this Paul show and just <laughs> put it on right. your video, just like randomly. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. I should put a green screen here. Mm. Yeah, and every now and then I'll just put something. <laughs> Like yeah. Someone peeking through the window. Yeah. <laughs> Fake window. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mad idea. I like that. So that window behind you, that will turn into a green screen one day and I'll take a photo of it and it will always be there. Yeah. And then every now and then I'm going to have someone open it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great idea. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I, don't, I couldn't tell you, bro. I couldn't tell you what some of the highlights have been. It just feels, it just feels so fucking good to have... Done my goal, bro. Yeah. One episode a week. I'm still going to do it. Don't get me wrong. But some people say that most people never get past episode 100, though. That's the new thing I've heard over the last oh, okay. year. Well, you 